Bonjour and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about style secrets of the French Parisian woman. It is a beautiful style I've always admired, but for today's video, I've really taken a deep dive into the research to try and understand the core of this beautiful style. We have a lot to get through today because I want to talk you through some essentials that I believe all French women probably have in their wardrobe, but I also want to give you some outfit inspiration using these pieces. I've gone on Pinterest to find some outfits that we could try and recreate and see how it works out. Per usual, it's coming with love from an apple shape because that's what I'm all about here on my channel, apple shape fashion. I know what it's like to feel like you're not represented in the fashion world and that's what I'm here to change. So let's get stuck into the style secret of the French Parisian woman for an apple shape. As I was researching for this video, the same keywords kept popping up over and over again. And I've written them down because I just want to run through them because I think we need to keep them in mind at all times. It is quality over quantity. The French women really appreciate good quality. And that leads on to the other keywords because clothes need to be practical, simple, comfortable, timeless, and classic. And that obviously leads to, if you have less pieces, a piece needs to work for all these things. Also, pieces has to be versatile. They have to work from day to night very easily. You have to be able to dress them up, dress them down, and wear them for multiple occasions. French women value personal style over trends. And again, that ties back with the quality over quantity. And they are fantastic at working for their body shape, something we all need to do because that's how we make the most of the curves that we have. So with these keywords in mind, I have pulled a little selection of pieces that keeps again popping up over and over again as you do the research of the French Parisian style. I want to just quickly run through the pieces with you just so we have an idea of what we have to work with. And then once we run through these, we are going to come up with some outfits. One thing I think you will see in all French Parisian women's wardrobe is the crisp white shirt. It is the epitome of classic fashion, isn't it? Obviously not just in the French wardrobe, but for many of us, it's one of those building blocks in your wardrobe. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it on its own, you can use it as a layering piece. And I absolutely understand why it is the epitome of the French wardrobe. I'm not surprised to see the black blazer on the list, a firm favorite in my wardrobe as well as the French woman's wardrobe. French women keep theirs a little bit on the oversized so they can use it more as a layering piece, but of course it is a classic and can be used on its own with a pretty blouse as well. But as a layering piece over a thicker knitwear and then a trench coat in the wintertime seems to be a firm favorite and I don't blame them one bit. The one item that surprised me the most on the list is denim jeans. I wasn't actually aware that denim jeans rank so highly for the French wardrobe, but I'm loving it. Who does not love a good pair of jeans? Now, the key for the jeans is to make sure that they work for your body shape. Make sure you wear a pair that works for you, both in color and in style. You know me, I prefer my darker jeans. I prefer the dark wash with not a lot of distressing on them, but wear what works for your body shape. That is really the key, but you can never go wrong with a pair of jeans. Dress them up, dress them down. They are really versatile, aren't they? The trench coat is another favorite in my personal wardrobe. I use mine all year round here in Ireland. Unless it's really, really, really cold, I will use my trench coat before any other coat. A versatile piece that the French seem to love as well. It is what we really kind of, when you look at French fashion, you see that trench coat, don't you? It really is a classic. The good old classic stripe is something that many of us would already connect with the French fashion. It is, so I've learned, the nod to the French navy, which I think is lovely. Now, it seems from what I could discover was that the French preferred as in a jumper or a sweatshirt, a cardigan or something like that. But of course, it comes in many varieties. The shirt, the basic t-shirt, even a little cami top. Incorporate the stripe in there and you're definitely well on your way. One thing that screams French fashion to me is the nod to Coco Chanel and her colorless jacket. It is just the look, isn't it? I very much think of French fashion when I see these. These kind of colorless jackets are the hottest fashion at the moment. You see them all over the place. So it's no better time to pull out this Parisian fashion and have a go at it. A little a jacket, but of course you can always go for a cardigan if you prefer, but it's a fantastic layer piece and it's no wonder that it's a firm favorite in the French wardrobe. Beautiful knits are next on the list. And here you can see I pulled a couple of pieces in color. It seems to be 
that knits are often where the French might have a little bit of fun with their clothing. A colorful piece like this can go a long way to jazz up an otherwise neutral wardrobe, but don't get me wrong, we got plenty of neutrals as well. It doesn't really matter what knit you prefer. Once again, just make sure that you have great quality. So they are long lasting, that is the key. Often they're used as layering pieces, maybe a jumper over your shoulders or even just as a layering piece underneath your trench coat and your blazer. One thing that I really loved seeing when I was researching this French as Persian fashion was the use of scarves. I'm a huge lover of scarves myself and because I have adopted a more neutral wardrobe in the last year or so, scarves are often where I have a bit more fun. Be it something a little bit more feminine as a silk scarf or a nice woolly one maybe for the cold, just make sure it's big, it's bold and it is fantastic. The French love a good scarf and often seen wearing it in all year round. When it comes to shoes, once again, we are talking about classic elegant pieces. I don't think you'll find many wardrobes in many places without a pair of black high heeled pumps. Again, in a heel that you can walk in that actually feel comfortable, but a pair of black pumps are essential. Another shoe we really tie with the French fashion is the little ballerina pump. Now mine are the pointy toe is what I prefer to wear, but maybe one that has a little bit more of an almond toe may suit you better. But because the French Parisian woman is walking so much in France, they apparently walk a lot, they need comfortable shoes and the little ballerina flats or the little loafer are fantastic options. They're very, very comfortable. They're very, very chic and stylish. And often you'll find them with a little slight heel on just for a little bit more elevation. Last but not least of the footwear, we can never go wrong with a good pair of sturdy boots. Again, we have a slight heel on them. And again, we choose quality over quantity. A pair of boots are essential for the colder months. Again, with a little bit of a heel on it. But once again, we're talking quality over quantity. We're talking classic, elegant, good quality fashion. The first outfit I want to recreate is this one, and it's very, very simple. It's a pair of boots, it's a pair of jeans, it's a blazer with a jumper, she has a handbag on, and although I don't share the model's faces on these photos, she did wear the famous red lip, which I haven't really talked about yet, but it is one of those things that are just, it's such a beautiful touch, isn't it? And it seems to be a very French nod. And she also had a sunglasses on, so I'm gonna do that as well. Very, very simple outfit, but I think it's it's a classic, isn't it? So let's give that a go. Let's do the side by side first. What do you think? How did I do? I really like the outfit and it's very much me, to be honest with you. There's a few differences of, between me and the model, of course, but yeah, it's not that different from my usual style anyway. The biggest difference is the fact that her jeans are a lot shorter. They are kind of like ankle length. And I think that gives a little kind of more hip touch to the outfit if the trousers are kind of shown a little bit more of the boot. I don't have any jeans that's shorter and I'm not sure it's something that I would wear as such. So that's a difference anyway. Also different from my own side is the fact that she is not wearing a belt. I always wear a belt. You know, for us apple shapes, it's all about hiding that tummy and give the eyes some a different focal point. And often the belt buckle would do just that. We do, however, still have the blazer that hides the tummy, which is a fantastic. And then we just have my usual fine knit jumper underneath. Now I do find with all these outfits, there's always a detail that catches the eye. So when I sit and look at all the images of this French Parisian style, there's always a detail. And for this image here, something I, I don't wear, but it's a shoulder bag. I never wear a shoulder bag, but hers, you can just see the little chain and this one is the only one that I had with the chain on. I, I never wear shoulder bags because I have droopy shoulders and they just slide down. So, but I like the detail nevertheless. And then obviously we have our sunnies and we have a gorgeous red lip. I really do like the outfit and I think I'm definitely gonna play more with my lipsticks and remember to wear my sunglasses. I have quite a collection of sunglasses, but I tend to just stick to the ones I have in the car. So this outfit is very much me and I really, really do like it. It's very chic, it's very elegant, it's very simple, and that's just up my street. For my second outfit, I jump straight into it just, just for handiness, really. But let me give you the side-by-side -side view. There we go. What do you think? Again, obviously, a few differences. It's not completely the same, but 
it, I must admit, I really like this one as well. Now her shoes, she has the tan with the black cap on the, on the toes. I don't have shoes like that, but I do think they do have that very Parisian look to them, don't they? I just went with my own ballerina flats and I went for the tan because I thought the black looked a little bit too stark. She then has her white jeans on, my favorite white jeans, and you have black belt. And this is where it's kind of like, would I do this with the tan shoe and the black belt? I don't know. My kind of brain says, well, let's go all tan instead. But she also had the black bag and then the striped top. And I just went from the basic t-shirt because I don't have the jumper. I have the cardigan and the t-shirt. So I went with the t-shirt and then just with the trench coat. It is very similar to my usual style. There's no doubt about it. I feel very much like I'm still in my comfort zone and obviously the trench coat hides the belly. So there's no belly in sight, which is fantastic. So yeah, I really, really like this one as well. I'm not sure I would actually put these pieces together myself, but I definitely think with that red lip and the stripes, it's definitely have that French nod, doesn't it? I had to try this one simply because I wanted to make an outfit with this jacket. This jacket is, it is quite difficult for me to wear because it is quite short and there is no hide in the tummy. Also, I went in and I got my straight leg mom jeans and in order to get that ankle length that the model has, I just rolled mine up a little bit. Again, she's wearing those ballerina flats with that black cap on that I don't have, so I just went for tan. Now, I really do love this outfit, but I'm not going to lie to you. It is a very belly showing because it doesn't hide the tummy properly. So I'm not 100% sure I would actually wear this, especially with these jeans. I think I'd probably go for a wide leg pair of fitted trousers or tailored trousers instead, to be honest with you. But I wanted to try. I wanted to try. Again, I love the detail in these jackets, these collarless little Coco Chanel jackets, oh, they're just amazing. I absolutely love mine, but I do find it hard to style. I'm not going to lie to you. I love this outfit. I think it's stunning. Whether or not it works in my variation, I'm not sure, but it's definitely what I'm going to keep in mind and try again. Why not have the jeans on? I decided just to try this outfit as well because she is wearing a looser pair of jeans and then with the stripy jacket. Now, again, I don't have the stripy jacket, so I decided just to try my cardigan and then just holding my bag in my hand instead of the crossbody because I don't do crossbody that's just just doesn't work for me also I added a little pair of kitten heel shoes with a chunkier heel so they're quite comfortable to wear in but they add that elegant touch she is wearing a t-shirt underneath her jacket so I kept my t-shirt on um, simply just to kind of give that layering effect because it's all in the details isn't it and then with my sunnies and my red lip I definitely think the idea of this outfit works. Again, it does show the belly, but these jeans are a little bit more loose. So depending on whether or not one feels comfortable showing as much tummy, but I really like this outfit. I think it's very, very cute. I really like it. For my last outfit, I went for this one. And again, there's a few changes, but I have actually found a combination in my wardrobe that I have never done before. And I love it absolutely love it again the comfort all comes into the fact that i am wearing the trench coat that hides the tummy but i love this red turtleneck with that trench coat and the jeans i then went for a cream pair of boots i have had these boots forever and i've used them for styling a couple of times but i've never worn them but she's wearing white boots mm, i don't know if i would have the guts to wear complete white boots I do like it, I don't know. And then she's wearing a tan trench coat with a tan bag. I don't have the tan, so I just went with my stone that I have. And then I went with my beloved Hogwarts red handbag. Love it, love it, love it. This is a combination I have never done before. In fairness, the confidence comes in the fact of wearing the trench coat because these two pieces, I don't know if I'd feel comfortable without the trench coat, but do you know what, this is a fun combination. Trench coat hides the tummy. So, mm, not bad, not bad. But that is it for today. I hope, if nothing else, that has given you a bit of an idea of what the French Parisian style is all about. I must admit, I am falling in love with it even more now after all the research, and it's definitely something I'm going to keep in mind 
this red lip is not going to be the last time I'll be wearing that, that is for sure. Everything that I've tried on here in the video, I will link as much as possible in the description box. But please know that I have just used pieces from my wardrobe, so a lot of it I might just have to add substitutes instead, all right? If you enjoyed this video and the styling inspiration, I have linked another video for you down in the description box for you to go and watch. And I will link one here on the screen as well for you if you fancy seeing more of me, all right? Don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!